How common are myths about sexuality in the media? What does psychology say about sexual fetishes? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Myths about sexuality are common in the media due to stereotypical representations and lack of diversity in narratives. These simplifications can contribute to misconceptions about body appearance, sexual expectations, and normal behaviors. Psychology considers fetishes a normal part of sexual diversity. They are often related to childhood experiences and sexual arousal. As long as practiced safely and consensually, fetishes are not necessarily problematic. Impact on relationship. Erectile dysfunction can have a significant impact on a couple's sexual relationships and intimacy. Open communication and seeking solutions together can help mitigate this impact. Impact on self-esteem. Premature ejaculation can significantly affect a man's self-esteem and confidence, leading to feelings of inadequacy and frustration regarding sexual performance. Impact on sexuality. Pornography can have an impact on people's perception of sexuality, influencing their preferences, fantasies, and sexual expectations. Impact on the relationship. Premature ejaculation can create tensions in the couple's relationship, especially if not addressed properly. Open communication and mutual understanding are crucial for overcoming this challenge. Importance of foreplay. Foreplay, including kissing, caressing, and other forms of erotic stimulation, is crucial for increasing sexual arousal and preparing the body for sexual intercourse. Importance of lubricant lubricant can enhance comfort during sex, especially in situations of vaginal dryness or when using sexual toys. Choosing an appropriate lubricant is important. Importance of safe sex. Safe sex is crucial for preventing sexually transmitted diseases and unwanted pregnancies. The use of condoms and other contraceptive methods is key to healthy sexuality. Improved self-esteem. Masturbation can help women feel more confident and comfortable with their sexuality and their bodies, leading to greater self-confidence and improved self-esteem. Improvement in emotional well-being. Masturbation can be an effective way to reduce anxiety, improve mood, and promote emotional well-being by releasing tension and increasing the sensation of pleasure. In India, where sex education in schools is limited, some NGOs have implemented sex education programs for teenagers, using theater and creative media to address topics such as reproductive health and child marriage. Individual exploration. Before attempting anal sex with a partner, some people prefer to explore individually to understand their own limits and preferences. Inflation fetishism. This fetish involves sexual excitement related to the inflation of the body or body parts, either through physical means or visual representations. Influence of food on sex. Some foods are considered aphrodisiacs due to their supposed ability to increase sexual desire. Popular examples include chocolate, oysters, and avocado. Influence of social media on sexuality. Social media can influence body perception, sexual expectations, and communication in relationships. It is also used to connect with diverse sexual communities. Inspiration for sexual creativity. The teachings of the Kama Sutra have inspired many people to adopt a more open and creative attitude towards sex, leading to experimentation and exploration of new forms of pleasure and intimate connection. Integrity and honesty. Honesty and integrity are qualities that many people find attractive in a partner. Reliability and transparency are valued in a relationship. Intensity and passion. For some women, sexual positions involving a higher degree of intensity and passion, such as the screw or acrobat position, can be especially exciting. Kama Sutra in Cinema Movies and documentaries explore the theme of the Kama Sutra, offering visual representations of its teachings and its impact on different cultures and eras. Kama Sutra in Music 
Some song lyrics and music videos make references to the Kama Sutra, using its concepts and positions as metaphors for sensuality and passion. Caretza is an approach to sexual intimacy that focuses on emotional connection and mindfulness rather than orgasm. This practice promotes prolonged and deep sexual relationships based on the idea that controlling arousal can strengthen the connection between partners. Lasting memories. Memories of satisfying foreplay can linger long after the sexual encounter ends, strengthening the emotional bond and keeping the spark of passion alive in the relationship. In rural communities in Latin America, sexual education workshops may be conducted by health promoters and community leaders, addressing topics such as family planning, disease prevention, and communication in relationships. In certain Latin American countries, sexual education programs based on gender theory have been implemented, challenging traditional stereotypes of masculinity and femininity and promoting gender equality in relationships. Lingerie fetishism. This fetish focuses on sexual arousal caused by a partner's underwear or lingerie, which may include garments such as bras, panties, thongs, etc. Love and sex. Love and sex are closely related in the human experience. Emotional intimacy can significantly enhance sexual satisfaction, and sex can strengthen emotional bonds. The combination of love and sex can be a source of enrichment in relationships. Luxury toys. There are luxury sex toys made with high-quality materials, such as gold, silver, or even diamonds. These toys are designed for individuals seeking exclusive and luxurious experiences in their intimacy. Masturbation and body exploration. Masturbation can be a powerful way to explore and understand female anatomy, allowing women to discover what types of stimulation are most pleasurable for them. Masturbation and sexual education. Including information about masturbation in sexual education can help women understand their bodies and sexuality more fully and healthily. Men in relationships tend to masturbate more than singles. This is because regular sexual activity can increase testosterone levels, thereby boosting sexual desire. This cycle is an interesting phenomenon that illustrates the relationship between sexual activity and body chemistry. Masturbation as a healthy practice. Masturbation is a normal and healthy sexual activity that can provide pleasure, relieve stress, and help people learn about their own bodies and sexual desires. Masturbation. During menstrual cycle, some women find that masturbation can alleviate symptoms of premenstrual syndrome, PMS, and menstrual cramps by releasing endorphins and reducing muscle tension. Masturbation in the Bible. Although masturbation has often been viewed as taboo in some cultures, the Bible does not explicitly mention masturbation. Interpretations vary. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.